Pandra Pradesh, where there is a big political slugfest that is taking place. In fact, the charges that have been made against the Tirupati temple are very grave. Andhra Pradesh Chief Minister N. Chandra Babu Naidu has said that the prasadam, the laddu which is given in the Tirupati temple is being adulterated and it was done under the YSRCP government. He is saying that animal fat and not ghee is being used to make the laddu. And he also went ahead and said that despite numerous complaints, the authorities failed to maintain the sanctity of the prasad, the prasadam and even the temple. YSRCP has reacted very sharply to Naidu's accusations. They are alleging Andhra Pradesh Chief Minister is now questioning the faith of lakhs of Hindus. And also, he's the one who's damaging the sanctity of the temple. But India Today has accessed a statement from Tirupati Temple Trust. The statement very clearly states, and the statement was in fact issued in the month of July, it clearly states that the ghee that is being used for the prasadam does not match the standards. And they are also issued a show cause notice to the supplier for not adhering to the norms. Devun Degar Bette Prasadam Apavitran Jese Vidangam Oh, sir, Bade Sundi Nasi Rakaman Ingredients Ega Kunda Animal Fat Guda Vadarani Edi Gig Badalu Eros Swachaman Gidamanam Prachadan Jemanam my colleague Apurva is now joining me on the story. Apurva, it's not just a question of those who come from India, but there are many devotees globally who visit this temple. So this definitely will become a big war that we'll see in the state of Andhra Pradesh. Well, that's right, Aishwarya. In fact, uh, you know, this has become quite the controversy here. Remember, Tirumala is one of the biggest temples uh, uh, and, you know, several people from across the world come here to have a darshan of Lord Venkateshwara. This statement made by Andhra Pradesh Chief Minister Nara Chandra Babu Naidu definitely raises questions on, uh, you know, the quality of uh, the food that has been given as prasadam. Remember, there are varieties of uh, prasadam that has been given out for the devotees be it the iconic Tirupati Latu or uh, you know the other kind of uh, specialities and delicacies that are being given after being offered to uh, Lord Venkateshwara. What we are getting to hear uh, is uh, you know CBN there who is going on and stating that this uh, not only has been low quality ingredients that had been used in the past but sometimes also. Stay on, that... stay on with, with me Josna, Professor Josna from the TDP is now joining me on the story. Professor Jotsnab, you know, I would start by asking you that this has actually become a big controversy. There, in fact, is also a statement which has been accessed by India today. The temple very clearly states that the ghee is not up to par. It's not up to standard. Yes, in fact, there is a, uh, there was a report also that was given uh, after the preliminary inquiry saying that uh, the particular ghee that was used earlier was adulterated. It is a very clear report that there, and based on that itself, the Honorable Chief Minister has passed on a statement that this is what has happened during the time of Jagan's regime in the state of Andhra Pradesh. They haven't left anything. Leave it, uh, you know, leave alone a temple, leave alone, uh, uh, you know, schools, any, anything. They haven't left anything. For them, everything was corruption. For them, everything was just money. And even in this case, especially when it comes to Tirumala, Tirumala's sanctity, they have literally played with it, I would say. Uh, you know, I'm not bringing the uh, religious part here, but uh, during the past five years, during Jagan's regime, we saw huge amounts of corruption happening even in the darshan tickets. And the different kinds of sevas that we do for the um, uh, deity also, a lot of corruption has happened there. Almost some hundreds of crores of scams. Um, you know, not, not just the darshans, not just this particular prasadam thing, not just... Um, uh, the regular uh, uh, work orders there, but also the different associated things along with the temple in terms of, uh, let's assume the university funds were swindled on, the hospital funds were swindled on, everything. Everything was a scam in Tirumala Tirupati during Jagan's regime. And this is something, you know, beyond anybody's expectation. Uh, you know, using adulterated gear. Josna, too, what, uh, what next? Uh, you know, because... Uh, you are saying that there was a lot of corruption that took place. So keeping that aside, what will be the next step? Because now you're saying that it's not just a statement. Uh, there, there were reports which point towards the fact that substandard quality items were being used to make the prasadam. So what will be the next step that the government will take? Government will definitely order inquiry into it. Even TDD 
has already done an internal inquiry. They are also they, we had vigilance attacks also, uh, vigilance raids also uh, for the past one 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 and a half months. The, every every uh, department there has been you know uh, continuously inquired on. And one thing again, I'm I'm here to correct. It's not the substandard one. It's the adulterated ghee they have used, and that's something that, as I said, unimaginable. Especially, you know, playing with the feelings of so many people across right. the world. Right. Thank you, Jotsna, TDP spokesperson, for, for putting things in perspective. The TDP all said to crack down on the adulterated ghee, allegedly, that is being used in the prasadam in the Tirumati, in the Tirumala, Tirumati temple. My colleague Apurva is still with me on the story. Apurva, this actually has blown into a big political controversy because what the TDP now is claiming is that it was not just substandard, it was adulterated. And animal fat is something, that's the allegation that TDP is now putting. So on one side, we have the YSRCP, Shagan Mohan Reddy very clearly saying that it is the TDP and Chief Minister who are bringing down the sanctity. On the other side, you know, these documents are being shown to YSRCP. Definitely, Aishwarya, because uh, what we are seeing here is that uh, over the last five years, even right now, recently, after uh, you know the TDP came into power, we saw how there had been a change in the board of directors there for Tirmala Tirupati Devasthanam as well. That was one of the first steps that had been taken. In fact, uh, even back then, uh, you know, Mr. Naidu, after the board change, after he had taken up. Uh, you know, he had come to power and had been sworn in as a chief minister. His first visit was, in fact, to Tirmala for a darshan with his family. That was when he had, in fact, gone and, and while speaking... Abhubha, Tirmala, please stay on with me. Rahul Iswar is also joining me on the broadcast. Rahul Iswar, this is a big controversy because adulterated ghee, and this is the allegation that the TDP is now putting across, is that animal fat, the ghee that had animal fat, was actually being used to make the prasadam. This is absolutely shocking. And as a devotee of Tirupati, I know I am shocked to learn or to even to hear that animal fat was used instead of green and low quality ingredients were used. I request there should be an inquiry into it and those people who are responsible for it should be brought to book and should be punished. This is a very sensitive issue because crores of devotees are you know, going to Tirupati every year and our families and ours regularly go. So it is shocking and painful to know that I am none less than a chief minister of the stature of Sri Chandrababu Naidu is airing this aspect. So it is a very serious thing. I hope there will be an inquiry into it and I hope uh, courts will also take cognizance of it because this is a high level, uh, uh, there is a high level angle to it. And I hope some kind of immediate inquiry and alleviation of the doubts in the minds of devotees should be there. And if this is the case, there should be punishment for those who use animal ghee, uh, animal fat and low quality ingredients in Tiripal Prasadam. And this is absolutely shocking. Rahul, uh, you know, is this something that, uh, how do you think these kind of things should be tackled? Because we are seeing ever since uh, the TTP came to power, there have been a lot of inquiries that are taking place. And now they are saying that they have documents to prove the fact that it was the prasadam which now has been adulterated. And despite many complaints, they are saying YSRCP government, the chief minister of that time, did not take any action. That's, that's the reason why I said beyond politics. I hope Tirupati, Shabarimala, Vaishno Devi, they are all beyond politics. They are our common treasures. So I hope somebody will take notice of it. And since there is a political angle to it, I don't think there, there will be any kind of a fair uh, kind of an inquiry into it. Both sides will allege that there is a political angle to it. So a court-monitored prop should be there. Uh, I hope Andhra High Court uh, will take cognizance of the matter because this is coming as a revelation from none less than Chief Minister. A sitting judge should take charge of it and should probe into it. And along with devotee sentiments, you know, it's a huge infrastructure. It helps Andhra's economy to a huge thing, religious tourism, spiritual tourism, pilgrimages. Right. They are a great part of Indian economy too. Thank you, Rahul Iswar, for giving us all those details and putting things in perspective. At the moment, this is a full-blown war that is taking place in the state of Andhra Pradesh. The TDP and the Chief Minister Naidu on one side, YSRCP Jagan Mohan Reddy on the other side.